Il doit l'eau. Sauter derrière. À côté là, où est ton hôtel là Are you where you know I'm happy, sir? I noticed that he do go to program back to back now, even when they're not invited. <laughs> I saw some comments on my last video where I talked about Akoro disrespecting Peter Obi. Lots of people were saying I was just trying to make a mountain out of a molehill. Some were saying I was trying to exaggerate the situation. That it wasn't really us. Uh, like what this saw wasn't really what I was trying to uh, put out there. But to, to, to a vastly good extent, I think some of you guys made some points, which I do understand. But um, um, let's face the fact. Let's face it. It's funny because, you know, you have a high-profile personality in front of you and you're saying that if you dare, I go talk at me again. If you dare, I go talk at me again. Truth is, I feel like it is, it is quite expensive. That's an expensive joke to make in front of someone who, who you know is way older than you. And because you know this guy is not going to do you anything. Yes, Peter, he's definitely going to like him. It's open to constructive criticism. Yes, which is fine. I feel like there's a way you should pass your message it doesn't have to be you saying it in a very disrespectful manner. That sounded very disrespectful. The truth is, if Atiku was, if Atiku were there, or Tinubu, all, all of these them um, creme de la creme of society, if these guys were seated there, he's never going to make that statement. That's the truth. I, I was watching Oke Bakasi at the police conference in Imo State, where Buhari was present. That was absolute class. English on point. It was it was very funny. It was top notch. There was, there was some level of maturity. In short. High level of maturity. Don't you get it? And the man was smiling. Buhari was smiling in front of him. Now imagine when, imagine he, imagine um, Oke Bagasu was hosting the show and he was trying to poke fun in a disrespectful manner towards um, Buhari. Don't you think that would be disrespectful to some degree? What Akoro did was very wrong. And he did that because it was Peter Obi who was involved. Yes, people would definitely laugh. That's Nigerians way. They would laugh. He made a point, no doubt. But sometimes you can make a point, but if you don't pass the message the right way, it becomes a big issue. Now, imagine he was saying that same stuff to um, Paula Difarasi or his wife. Nobody would take that lightly, honestly. Nobody would take that lightly. When I was watching Oke Bakasi at the police conference, he stated facts. He passed the message. And he was very funny with it. Yeah. And uh, yes, everybody laughed at the same time. Google Buhari was laughing too. Go and watch the video. I don't have the video on this channel, though. But you can just go on YouTube and Google. Just type... How do you guys start the Oke okay, Bakasi at them um, Imo conference, police conference in Imo State? You're definitely going to see lots of, just see the video. It's comedian Oke okay, Bakasi. He was, it was absolute master class. Don't you get it? You can't come to a church show because you want to pass a message. Or you, or you want to lampoon a person that you're going to do that in a very derogatory manner. It makes no sense. And he was saying, if the man was there, I, I could talk about it. Just saying, I could talk about it. I could talk about it. Don't say that. That's, that's. That's not professional, honestly. She be she be a come all these years. We be say politicians they show face all these years. Why has he not come out to say, hey you, you, you this man, what you are doing is wrong. This one, that one, that one. Talk him now. Talk him now. Whether he go see show, he no go see show. Even up to today, he now passed over the uh, uh, Poladi Parasi. He go just come out you once. The last time that people were booing was his name, someone. But well, just people were just booing. You know. He came out and he made similar on that. Some people's comments are like, ah, he's just trying to make a joke. Oga. Okay. There are some jokes that are quite expensive. They are very, very expensive. You don't say that. It is very, very wrong. Pass your message. Yes. You can be satirical with it. I'm how they speak up for English. You can, you can lampoon. Yes. To lampoon people is... is yeah, it is it is good to pass your message. But pass it in a way that even the guy who is involved will, will say, ah, I understand where you're coming from with this. That was what um, Oke Bakasi did, did at the Imo State, Imo State Police Conference. That was what he did. He passed the message. He was fluent with it. He was funny with it. It was top notch. It was master class. It was creativity and maturity. Everyone loved it. Nobody go and even check the comments. If you don't say this one, yeah, yeah. So that's where the thing used to go. Because you know, say Peter Obi, they give shishi. <laughs> you don't know what they talk. So it doesn't have Peter Obi the dream money up and down like all these Nigerian politicians. You can't come from their front to make that kind of statement. I am now. He goes, yeah, here's my point. If you want to be respected, respect the identity. Fact. Don't say that kind of stuff at someone's back. Say, he has gone, he don't go, he don't go. If they say in there, I go tell him. Tell of now they come church now. Watch, you saw the video. Go on, go to my last video. Go to my last video. Go to see the video. I got to come to say in there. I got to come to say in there. I think I got to come to say in there. 
Restoran dia parah sih. 